Center. Hey, I'm Chris Berman. We've got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Packers come away with a seven-point win. Eric Johnson had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Johnny Morton Saltz had over 50 yards receiving and helped his Chiefs beat the Broncos. In the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, we had the Eagles edge their way to a narrow three-point win. Over at Gillette Stadium, we had the Patriots edge their way to a narrow three-point win. The Redskins won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Giants. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. Before we get to the big news of the week, let's do a quick shakedown on the rest of the NFL's injuries. Tom Nalen won't see action for a while, and that'll be a big offensive loss for his team. A dislocated elbow is the problem, keeping him out for six weeks. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. Simeon Rice will be on the sidelines for a while, and that is not good news for his club. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. Lions, Bears. Rex Grossman calling signals at his own 40-yard line, rolls, then fires a slant. Look at him go. He could go all the way. 60-yard score. The Bears go on to win this by the final score of 34 to 20. The Rams' defense held their opponents to under 150 passing yards in their win at the Edward Jones Dome. Lee Mays stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Chad Pennington went to the end zone four times and helped his Jets beat the Bengals. Deep in Cajun country in New Orleans, we had the Saints get nipped by three points. Up in Ralph Wilson Stadium, we had the Bills get buried by 19 points. Chargers, Texans. Dominic Davis is at the 25-yard line, and boy, his line's been doing a good job for him today. And here they go again. Bounces outside, makes the move himself at the 25. Touchdown! The Texans win this one by the final score of 17 to 15. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Jason Gilden is on the move, as you see, as he accepts a pretty good offer to leave his current club. Three years, $10.2 million. On top of that, a $2.0 million signing bonus. Gilbert Brown will also be locked up for a while as he signs a healthy six-year contract with the Raiders. Jeremiah Trotter is going to find himself with a new club, and he'll be in a new tax bracket, too. Two years, $4.9 million, plus a $1.4 million signing bonus. Mo Lewis got snatched up as well, and he signs a two-year contract with the Redskins. The Cowboys won on the road and will now head home to meet the Browns. The Dolphins got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at Pro Player Stadium. And in our final game, we had the Ravens come away victorious. So as usual, plenty of surprises around the NFL. And heck, I mean, we just got into week one. My primetime players game balls go out to these gentlemen, each one with a fine start to the season. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.
Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Here we go on ESPN. Set to go with week two of the NFL on ESPN. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Berman. Week one certainly had a chair of surprises. Will week two continue in that vein? Or will things start to even out a bit? We'll see, we've got an excellent early season matchup for you here. New York, San Diego, it's game time. Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time to catch the start of this game. Welcome to Qualcomm Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. My colleague here in the commentary booth is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have a solid tackler on defense who does an excellent job pursuing the ball. No doubt about that, Dan. These guys do an outstanding job of reading the offense and ripping it to shreds. Jason Gilden is a terrific outside linebacker, and this guy's got a motor that won't quit. Conditioning plays a big role there, but just as important is his rugged tenacity. And here on the other side is another top tier player. Sam Cowart is one of the most potent inside linebackers that you'll see in the league today. And what a great tackler this guy is. He'll drag a big guy right down by the scruff of the neck. And that's if you're lucky. You hit him head on and it's nighty night. I'll tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. OK, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. Tails of this. Number 10, kicking off for the There's charge. the signal, and we're ready. It's time for Charger football. Keating kicks it, and we are underway. Jordan fields it all the way back at the two. <laughs> Tackled at the 27. Lamont Jordan was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. Let's go, first Diego, and 10 let's pick New York. We got the Jets brothers. will start this first play of the drive at their own 27-yard line. This one will That's fall incomplete. incomplete. Gerald Soule, Gerald Soule, Soule looked like he had a solid catch there, and yet somehow he found a way to drop it. He couldn't hold on to that one, and maybe that's why they don't throw to him that often. No, he's more of a runner than a target out of the backfield. Pennington fires this one over the middle, and it's tipped incomplete. Third down, 10 yards to go. Karens pitches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Justin McCarrens faces double coverage on this play, but still comes out with the ball. Nice throw and nice catch. Let's take a look. They had him covered well, but he was still able to make the catch. That guy's a great receiver. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Martin gets the call on first down and runs into traffic. Tackled at the 46. Second and five. Ball at the Jets, 46 yard line. Martin gets the call again and will gain close to six. Justin McCarrens had a great block there. You know, Dan, sometimes it's better to give than receive, especially when you're giving out some hurt like that. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Martin picks up a yard on the play, and they convert the third down. First and 10. Ball at the 47. McCarrens hauls it in right side and is at the 20. Chase down at the 9. It'll be first and goal. Justin McCarrens took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. What a play! A massive pickup and an obvious first down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were first thinking touchdown on that baby. Oh, 
Martin gains five on the play, and that Number brings up second down. Tackle. Kevin Mawai used all his strength to excavate a hole in the D and create some room for the runner. I'll tell you what, when the O-line is clicking like that, everything is easy. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Martin carries it past scrimmage and chews up about four on the play. Coach Edwards doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. New York Jets is challenging the spot of the ball, whether the player crossed the plane of the end zone. This is their first challenge of the game, and even if they lose this one, they still have one challenge left. Well, let's take a look and see if he actually gets the ball across the plane. Remember, all you need to do is have the tip of the ball cross it. After I don't review, know, Dan. I, play I don't stands. think he got that in the end zone. The, the call will probably stand. New York Jets will be charged a timeout. Third down. That will cost them a timeout. And this is why I love this game so much. Just look at all this stuff going on down there. Great moves, big hits, shrewd coaching. Everything's going on. These are the kind of plays that make football the greatest game in the world, hands down. Here's the extra point, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Brian kicks it off. Turner catches it at the 10. Brought down at the 30. They return of Michael Turner got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Chargers will start this drive at their own 30-yard line. Tomlinson gets the handoff and searches for a hole. Ladanian Tomlinson is built like a perfect back should be. 5'10", 221. This running back comes with all the fixings. He can deke out defenders, spin out tackles, and even run some over. Second and seven. Second down, three wide outs in the game. Palmer catches the bullet out left, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Philip Rivers uncorks a dynamite pass there with two defenders on the prowl. Really incredible accuracy, but I'll tell you, that's got a sting if you're on the defense. Right, Odano. You know, they could have brought eight guys on that play. Wouldn't have made a difference. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the defense is happy about that play. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Tomlinson goes right up the middle and gets past the line. Stopped at the 39. Parker hauls in the pass, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Rivers throws a bullet, and the catch is made at the 14. Reggie Tung with the tackle. Tomlinson will get the carry on second down and barely picks up the first down. Fires this one over the middle and 
and it's caught for a touchdown. Lorenzo Neal had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself and usually meets it. Now the point the after extra point is good. It's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Keating kicks it off. Jordan fields the kickoff at the six. Tackled at the 32. Lamont Jordan received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Jets had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their 32-yard line. Terrence Keel swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Pennington really rifles this pass, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Moss snags the missile and tries to get free. Brought down hard at the 17. It will be first down. Santana Moss really delivers on this play. Let's take another look first at the catch. There it is, but he's not done. He's going to make his way forward for extra yards. Oh, he's a go-to guy for quarter. sure. What a play. A massive pickup and an obvious first down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on that baby. And that'll do it for quarter number one, and we're all tied. Three more quarters of me and my Pennington zips it to the left sideline and it's intercepted. Interception. Down Check out the interception here on the replay, Dan. Watch how he reacts to getting the ball's path. The Chargers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Check man, check man. Parker goes in motion. <laughs> Cowart tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Sam Cowart was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. A good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Rivers unloads this to the right sideline, and this one is in. Victor Hobson breaking up that play before the receiver even has a shot at it. Well, uh, it, to quote you, it's all about patrolling your zone effectively and reading the play well. Hey, it's all about recognizing your partner's trademark in. phrase. <laughs> touchy, touchy. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Tongue makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Sifries lines up to punt after the three and out. Sifries gets the ball and punts it away. Moss fields the punt at the 37. Forced out at the 46. Santana Moss racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. This a little bit harder the Jets me. had their last drive stall out at the end. But we'll see if they can keep them throughout this one, which starts at their 46-yard line. Martin picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Second and eight. Ball at the Jets, 48-yard line. 
Bennington throws a beauty to the right side. And First the reception's down, made at the 36. Finally stopped at the 25. That will bring up first down. First, and ten. First down, one man All back. 25. the fastball first over the middle jet. and is well past the markers for a first down. First and goal. Ball at the eight yard line. Nine, five, ten, eight, eight, six yards on the play. Curtis Martin fought for a few extra <laughs> yards after making the catch. You know, I like to see that in a player, that drive to get every last ounce out of the play. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. Extra point and the extra it's point good. is good. There's the signal and we're ready. Keating rockets this one deep. Jordan decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 23. Lamont Jordan took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that one. The Jets have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Pennington uncorks this to the left sideline, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. First Moss down, makes the catch on the right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Martin takes it for his eighth carry and chews up about four on the play. Jason Gilden Godfrey had to leave the field earlier in the game and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I got a quick word with the trainers and they said he's got a sprained wrist. They're sizing him for a brace, but progress is slow at best. I've been told that his return is questionable. Dan, back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up the here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Beth. Okay, baby. Okay. Jason Gilden came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Pennington throws a bullet here, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Anthony Beck had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. That will bring up fourth down, and what a disappointment that would have given them the first. You've got to make those plays when they come your way. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Santana Moss has this one in his hands, and then with the coverage. Oh, drops it. The fourth down conversion just doesn't materialize for them. And that was a short one, too. Once you make the decision to go for it, you got to execute. They don't, and we'll turn it over. The Chargers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at the 37-yard line. Tomlinson gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second down from the eye. Heel goes in motion. Palmer Passes didn't haul incomplete. that one in, and it falls Number incomplete. The intended receiver. Philip Rivers is putting on quite a display with the coverage. 
This is the series here, baby. We got to stop Ball him. the Chargers, 32-yard line. Rivers throws a bullet to the flat, and the Jets will take a timeout. That's their second. Siffries lines up for the punt. Santana Moss to make the return. Siffries takes the snap and punts it away. Moss fields it at the 16. Tackled at the 20. Santana Moss didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Jets were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll First see what happens. Justin McCarrens faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That's another medium range catch for him. He's really First found his 10. niche in there. Yeah, and unless he starts oh, getting shut down, there's no reason for him to move out of it. First down and five wide receivers take the field. McCarrens. Chad Pennington makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. He's daring the D to stop him. Well, those are some impressive numbers. Look at those receiving numbers. Pennington lets it go the distance here, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Kwame Lasseter came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Pennington unloads this one to the left, and they get the first on third and long. Holding, number 25, defense. The penalty is declined. First down, empty backfield. Didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Jamar Fletcher shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. He's going the wrong way. Pennington throws a heater right sideline, and the catch is made at the 13. Runs out, and that will stop. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Wayne Corbett makes a great play here, picks up some huge yards, takes it to the outside, then eventually runs out of bounds. Check it out. Nice play. He got what he needed, and then he headed for the sideline. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Go right stairs, baby! Makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. That's the end of the second quarter. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Chargers are out in front, 14 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Jets should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Justin McCarrens found a soft spot on the defense and have worked to his advantage. A 38-yard play that set up a Jet touchdown. The Jets get the first points of the game and go up by seven. 
the Bolts come right back, already in the red zone. Phillip Rivers would put this pass right where it needed to be, a nine-yard touchdown for the Chargers. Jets now early in the second quarter. Game tied, seven all. Sammy Davis was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Jets, middle of the second. Quinton Jammer is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Touchdown for the Chargers. Jets back, 14 to seven. Chad Pennington connected with his man on this one. Jets late into the second quarter, ball at their own 35-yard line. Chad Pennington would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bolts are holding on to a lead, 14 to seven. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Chad Pennington has played like a man possessed. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby the leader in surround sound technology. The Chargers will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, 14 to seven. Let's go down to the field. Chapman fields the second half kickoff at the nine. Brought down at the 26. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drive results, and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. They need to be careful here. The Chargers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 26-yard line. Stopped at the 32. On the ball, knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly to give his receivers a few tips about mid-air receptions. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Jets offense takes the field, and they are already in field goal position. They'll line up at the 32-yard line. Martin takes it off the toss and moves forward for seven. Curtis Martin played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They move the ball, and it will be the second round. Martin gains three yards, and that brings up third down. Randall Godfrey made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Martin has his number called on third down and converts the third down. First down, Jets. What's What's down. 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 Soul catches it right sideline and is at the 10. Eventually tackled at the seven. It'll be first and goal. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. First and goal. Ball at the seven. Pennington loops this one to the end zone and is they can't connect. Incomplete. Anthony Beck was the intended receiver. Second down, two wideouts on the field. And Scott attacks him way back at the 19. Quincy Scott got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very long. Yeah, monstrous D to pass through the range for these guys. Pennington throws a heater, and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. He's in for the touchdown. the point after and it's 
It's good. The penalty is declined. The point after is good. Number 10, kicking off for the charge. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Keating rockets this one deep. Jordan decides to take it out of the end zone. Bang down at the 28. Lamont Jordan decided to take it out of the end zone. Turned out to be a good decision, Dan. He got some good yards there. First and 10, New York. Karens rips first down, down the lob, and he's got the first down no, and a whole no, lot more. Switch. Black 79. Switch. Pennington tosses it deep down the left side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Lasseter was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I got in touch with the team doctor, and apparently he's torn his calf muscle. They're icing the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it doesn't seem to be that effective. The official word on his return, doubtful. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Susie. Moss hurls in the lob right side, and that's Doug a Bryant touchdown. To the extra point. Oh, look there. 150 Five, plus four. receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. It's the extra good. Point is good. Doug Bryan kicking off for the Jets. There's the signal, and we're ready. Bryan kicks this one away. Turner catches it back at the 10. Takes three. Stop at the 29. The Chargers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 29-yard line. Rivers rifles it out left side, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Philip Rivers has had a number of pass attempts, and we've seen that his guys are out there running. Second and 10. Ball at the Chargers, 29 yard line. Abraham sacks him way back at. John Abraham set this offense back a few with that oh. sack. You know, if there's such a thing as anti-momentum, they're feeling it. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very long. Monstrous D to pass few downs for these guys. Rivers gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 28. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. The Jets offense takes the field and their running game is yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at the 28-yard line. Martin loses one on the play and that brings up second down. Pennington pops this one out to the left and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Chad Pennington goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So goal. far, he's got over 370 oh, yards yard. and two touchdowns. Yeah. Martin picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Second and goal. Second down, goal. Yeah. goal. If we see the pass here, Dan, we have no doubt it's heading to his go-to man. Curtis Martin faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That touchdown will cut it close, Peter. That was a big play. Way to stay in the game. Number five, holding. Here's the point after, and the extra point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Brian kicks it off. Turner fields the kickoff at the six. 
Tackle back to 25. Here comes the counter. Here comes the Chargers the were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 25 yard line. Ferguson sacks him back at the 21. Dyson had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Kalber has a report. Susie. Thank you, Dan. He came off the field complaining of leg cramps, and the trainers are saying exactly that. They're finishing a quick massage of the area, and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Dan? Thanks, Susie. Parker goes in motion. Abraham gets the sack at the 19. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, we've got some notable injuries this season. Teams are doing their best to put their best team on the field each week, but injuries are piling up. There's no avoiding it. The key is to have depth in your roster and just hope for the best. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Damian Tomlinson set up for the screen back there. He had blockers ready, but... <laughs> Forgot to catch the ball. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Moss fields the punt at the 39. Drag down at the 48. The Jets start this one on the center logo at the 48-yard line. Bingo gets the sack way back at the 46. The Chargers looking down with only a three-man rush. The protection was weak at best back then. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the Rams have spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Pennington throws this one way down over the middle, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Krebet catches the lob over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. That's the end of the third quarter. So three quarters in the books now, and we're all tied. Fires this one over the middle, first and the reception six. is made past the markers for a first down. Justin McCarron had all the time in the world on this play, Danny. He could have made himself a sandwich while he was waiting for the ball. <laughs> Always back to the food, Peter. Can't you think of anything else? Oh, well, let me see. No, first I can't. Uh -huh. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Now, let's see if he stays on track. Number 97 gets the sack way back at the 21. Number 97 did a great job back there by not only getting the sack, but getting him way back for a huge loss. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second down, 19 yards to go. Cracks him down and gets the sack way back at the 28. Jason, Jason Fish goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah, sacks don't get much easier than that. Peter, with that stop, they have pushed them out of field goal range. Oh, what a big play. Oh, you got Let's it go down the right side and it falls. Terrence Field makes a great effort on this play. The Chargers offense takes the field and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at their 36 yard line. Tomlinson catches it in the flat and tries to get the Tomlinson is going to make a great play. Rivers throws 
a bullet to the flat, and Passes it's incomplete. tipped. Incomplete. David Barrett, with the David Barrett swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Second and ten. Raise it, raise it. Ball at the Chargers, 50 yards. Number 89 line. goes in motion. A couple. Number 89 had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Rivers just rifles this one, and it's off incomplete. Ladanian Tomlinson tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Siffries takes the long snap and punts it away. Moss takes it at the 19. Brought down at the 22. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. First the Jets offense York. takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 22-yard line. Pennington throws this one over the Passes middle, and it's tipped. Number incomplete. Keep your eyes on the pass. Keep your Second eyes down, on the pass. two receivers to the left. Moss <laughs> didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Santana Moss ran a corner route back there, but unable to make the reception. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, it and it will be third down. Pennington rifles it out left side, and they get the first on third and long. Yeah, nice job. First and ten. Moss catches it in the flat, and is at the 40, pushed out at the 42. With the push out of Santana balance. Moss had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. I'm sure he's glad Second to finally two. make a completion, considering oh, he's already oh, dropped two today. Yeah. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Martin gains eight yards, and that brings up first down. First down, Jets. Curtis Martin gains a lot on this play, but it wasn't all him. Watch. Yep, he owes everything to those blockers, baby. They cleared the path for him. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, four wideouts in the game. Martin will get the carry on first down, and he stopped. The clock continues to run. Johnson was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. After coming off the field, the trainers have determined that he has a stress fracture in his foot. They're trying to mitigate the pain by taping him up, but it doesn't seem to be working. They're listing his return as doubtful. Back to you, guys. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, sir. Martin chews up nine yards, and the clock will continue to run. First down, Jets. First, First down, down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Martin takes it for his 17th carry and rambles for about five. Second and four. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Martin carries it yet again and runs into traffic. Tackled, and the clock will continue to first run. Down it will be first down. Brent Smith okay. used every ounce of his big self to do some key blocking on that last play. Martin gains Curtis three Martin yards, and carrier. that brings up second Jason down. Fisk with the tackle. Pennington decides to run this. The Chargers take their first time out. Third down with a split backfield. Rips him down in the. 
Chargers will take a timeout. That's their second. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Brian kicks it from 35 yards, the field goal and attempt is good. they take the lead. Yeah, there you go. Doug Bryan puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. Late in the game, and they take the lead. That was a very big field goal. As big as they come, Dan. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Bryan kicks a short one. Johnson fields the short kick at the 28. Tackled at the 41. Leon Johnson got just a little past no place with that run back. He's lucky the kick was no prize because they get pretty decent field position out of that. The Chargers offense has taken the field and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their 41 yard line. Rivers really put some arm behind this That's one and regulation. it's tipped incomplete. And that is going to do it for this one. The Jets come out on top 24 to 21. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Jets stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's start this on the first play from scrimmage in the second half. John Quickstraw McGraw shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Jets on defense, ball at the 20. Ben Lieber would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Chargers. The Jets, after getting an interception, Jets behind by 14. Santana Moss is gonna find himself on the receiving end of this one as he works his way open for the big play. They climb back into the game, now down by seven. The Bolts on D, David Barrett would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Bolts leading 21 to 14. Chad Pennington would find his target on this one. A 23 yard play that set up a Jet touchdown. The Jets again tie it up 21 all. The ball at their own 45. Chad Pennington is back to throw, and look at the finesse he puts on this one. Nice. Game tied, 21 all. Doug Bryan would come on and connect on the field goal try. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jets squeaked out a win, 24 to 21. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Chad Pennington is on hand with Susie Culver. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You played brilliantly. And you won a close game today. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? I think our linebackers were the spark plugs for the whole team. Nobody wants to win more games than these guys. They put their bodies on the line every down, every play for the sake of this team. They should get a lot of credit for this win. Chris, back to you. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long.